While Israel commits genocide in Gaza, they've also been destroying Palestinian life here in the occupied West Bank. Since October 7th, Israeli fire has killed over 700 Palestinians. That's 60 people every month. And military raids have tripled. We also saw the largest Israeli military assault in over two decades. It lasted 10 days and took place in the north of the occupied West Bank. Israeli forces have arrested 11,000 Palestinians and subjected them to starvation, humiliation, sexual abuse, and torture. Meanwhile, Israeli settler violence and military demolitions have significantly increased. Armed settlers living on stolen Palestinian land in the West Bank are harassing, beating, shooting, and displacing Palestinians with the support of the military every day. Over 5,000 Palestinians have been forcibly displaced by settlers and the military in these systematic attacks. Since October 7th, Israel has stolen 3,300 football fields worth of land, which is more land stolen this year than in the last 20 years combined. Meanwhile, Palestinian freedom of movement has become more restricted than ever. The number of Israeli checkpoints and roadblocks, which are opened and closed at the whim of Israeli soldiers, has increased from 200 to over 790. Of course, Israeli settlers, unlike Palestinians, can bypass these checkpoints. In 2024, Palestinians are facing the same Israeli violence, unchecked power, and land grabs that has plagued them since 1948. 